much, Mr. President. Uh, before my colleague leaves from the state of Ohio, I would like to note one issue that he did not raise, which we have in common, and that is the issue of voting on the floor of the United States Senate in times of national emergency. Senator Portman and I have co-sponsored legislation to address this issue, acknowledging in our introduction of it a few days ago that we would face something as we did this evening, where five of our Senate colleagues were unable to come to the floor of the Senate and vote because they're on self-quarantine at this moment. Uh, this could grow, let's be very honest about it, and the numbers could grow to the point it could reach an extreme where there's a question of an actual quorum on the floor of the Senate. What Senator Portman of Ohio on the Republican side and what I have introduced with him on the Democratic side is an effort to establish a verifiable technology and procedure so that members can vote once the decision's made that we're in a time of emergency, so that members can vote and not be physically present on the floor of the Senate. There are some members, if you noticed tonight on my side and even on your side, who came to the floor quickly and left, they are genuinely concerned about social distance and about contagion, uh, and I understand that very much. I share their concern. So I would just say to my friend from Ohio, we're certainly not gonna call this measure tonight, but I hope we call it soon. It's time for us to have this conversation about how to protect members and their families, staff and their families, in the way that we vote on the floor of the Senate when we're facing, facing a public health crisis such as the one that we have at this moment. Uh, I'd be happy to yield. yield for a question through the chair. I appreciate your yielding for a moment for a question. My question is uh, really a comment to thank you for your support of this uh, on the other side of the aisle. This is a bipartisan effort to ensure that we can be able to uh, do our duty. Um, as uh, the legislative branch, Article I, we have responsibilities here. This is our duty station. And yet, if we cannot be here, we still need to be able to do it remotely. And with the technology we now have, uh, we have the ability to do that, as my colleague Milnoy has said, in a safe and secure way. So I thank him for his advocacy of this, and my hope is that we can have this as a possibility uh, should we not be able to gather. And uh, I think what's happened in the last several hours is we've learned about our colleagues uh, who are self-quarantining, one who tested positive, as I understand it, uh, it's very important that we have that ability. So I thank my colleague, I yield back. I thank the Senator from Ohio. This is a bipartisan measure as it should be. It, it affects both sides of the aisle. We're all vulnerable. And if we can find a practical solution which respects the integrity of the voting process in the United States Senate, let's do it. This, as we've drawn it up in the earliest uh, version, has to be agreed to by both leaders, Democrat and Republican, to go forward and do it for 30 days at a time, renewable for another 30 days with a vote of three-fifths of the members uh, to go forward an additional 30 days. So this is not a permanent change, but it's a change that may be necessary if we face a public health emergency or a terrorist threat, God forbid, or something of that nature. So I thank the senator from Ohio.